this video I will be showing you how to use the secant method to find the root of a function so on the left we have the iterative formula or the formula you're going to use to find the next um, iteration and so on and here we're given the function which is negative 0.6x squared plus 2.4x plus 5.5 and we need to find its root so first what we have to do is choose our two initial guesses for the root uh, which is which I named xk minus 1 and xk so from the previous video in the bisection method I used 5 and 10 so I'll be using that again and this is our first iteration and so we just put and put here this and f xk minus 1 is just um, using the xk minus 1 value which is 5 and replacing all the x's with that value so we have negative 0 0.6 times this squared plus 2.4 sorry plus 2.4 times that plus 5.5 5. so we get this value and for xk we just uh, input our initial guess and since this is the same formula I'm just copying this down command C command V pasting it and xk plus 1 is where we use the iterative formula which is on the left so I'll show you how to do it so you just go xk minus you want a double bracket here and xk minus xk minus 1 divided by f of xk minus f of xk minus 1 double bracket multiplied by f of xk there you go and we can just copy this form this formula here f of xk because this is basically just the same thing here right so if you look at this we're using the exact same formula but instead the x values are your new found xk plus one values so if you want to save time you can just do that and we just uh, leave that leave this as nothing so far and um, this is our second iteration so this is how it goes for xk minus one now we use the xk value on top and we can just drag this down and for x uh, the new xk we use the xk plus one on top let me just drag this down and xk plus one since it's a formula this one here we can just drag this down we can just drag this down as well and if you want to calculate the error we can just do absolute of this minus this okay so afterwards we can just take this here and we can drag the whole thing down and as you can notice the uh, answers are found quite quickly at iteration around iteration 8 actually and this is because the secant method tends to uh, converge really quickly so you can just uh, stop it eight or well ten anything but yeah essentially here this is our root and that is the answer so this is all for the video thank you for listening and if you have any questions you can always ask in the comments below thank you